Hi, Anya here. So this class is called the Ability Fast Burn, which means we're going to have a little bit of yoga, a little bit of mobility, and we're going to be doing it fast. This uh, ladder flow is designed to build up strength in the legs, core, and the glutes. Uh, there is some challenging mobility transitions that we're going to be going through, but at the beginning of the class, I'm going to show you a few modifications you can use as we go along. I hope you're going to enjoy the sequence, and if you have any questions or concerns, please don't hesitate to uh, comment on. Thank you so much for watching. See you on the mat. Namaste. Okay. Let's start with supine butterfly pose. Bring the soles of your feet together and bring your pelvis closer towards your heels. And then from there, just lower your torso down. Now as you heal, let's take a nice long inhale through the nose. As you're inhaling, make sure that your frontal ribs are lifting away from the hips. So there's a little bit of stretch going on in the belly. At the same time, make sure you're not arching your lower back. You're actually pressing your lumbar down to the mat. Let's bring the hands above the head. Elbows can be bent. Full breath in, in here. Again, ribs up. Then on the exhale, relax your ribs down. Again, inhale. And exhale. Now press more weight into the edges of your feet and on the inhale, as you're lifting your frontal ribs up, you're also lifting your pelvis off the floor. Then on the exhale, let's open the feet apart. Try to have your feet wider than hip distance. Nice soft bridge here. So the hips don't have to go super high, but you wanna bring lots of weight into the legs. Let's from here, start bringing more weight to the outside edge of the right foot, inner arch of the left foot. And we're gonna start dropping the legs all the way to the right. But as we're dropping the legs down, we're gonna keep the hips hovering over the mat. So until the right shin and the right knee goes down to the floor, keep the right hip lifted. Then sink the right hip down, following with the left side. On the inhale, we're gonna lift the left knee, left hip up, following with the right one, coming back to bridge. On the exhale, we're gonna do the same thing on the left side. So press to the outside edge of the left foot, inner arch of the right one. Start lowering your left leg down, left hip, and then the right side. Inhale, lift all the way up to bridge. Then on the exhale, lower your pelvis down to the floor. Bring your arms forward, palms facing down. Lift the head of the floor, chin is in. Now on the exhale, squeeze the knees towards the shoulders, lifting the pelvis off the floor. So pretty active crunching in here. And then release your heels down to the floor so the soles of your feet and the toes are lifted. Come back to bridge yet again with the arms above the head. Make sure you're readjusting your feet again wider than your hips. And then on the exhale, let's start pressing to the edges of your feet. Again, dropping to the right by keeping the hips elevated until the leg and the knees down on the floor. From the twist, inhale, we're gonna come back again to bridge on the heels. Exhale, we're gonna go to the left side. As slow as you can with control, take your time. Then with the inhale, come back all the way up to bridge on your heels. Then lower your pelvis down. Again, we're gonna bring the arms forward, palms pressing down, lift the head up, chin is in, and try to hug your knees towards the shoulders. This time, trying to lift your pelvis a little bit higher. Slowly from here, lower the toes down, lift the heels, come back to bridge. And on the exhale again, we're gonna drop the legs to the right, keeping the hips lifted. Then sink all the way to the soft twist. Inhale all the way up to bridge on your toes. Exhale all the way down to the left. Inhale all the way up to bridge on your toes. Exhale, lower your pelvis down. Again, hands are going down to the floor. Press the palms down, make sure your elbows are lifted. Head of the floor. And again, let's try to kick those knees towards the shoulders, lifting the hips as high this time as you can, almost going to like a plow pose. And then from here, lower your pelvis down, keep the head lifted, keep the knees bent, and then bring the left shin cross above the right, uh, right one. You wanna make sure that the feet are going in opposite direction. And now let's lift the hands off the ground, uh, cross the, uh, press the elbows towards the knees, and make sure that you're uh, looking for like a compact hugging position in here. Inhale, rock all the way up to sit uh, sit that, <laughs> lifting the feet above the ground. And on the exhale, as you're lowering down, 
try to not separating your torso away from the legs. Try to keep that hugging motion in here as you're lowering down. So we're gonna keep that compact motion as we're going uh, through the sequence. Right chin above, inhale, all the way up, hug it in. Exhale, all the way back to happy baby. Uncross the legs, again, switch left chin above, rock all the way up to sit that. This time you're gonna lower the feet down. Edge of the right foot, shin goes down to the floor. Left heel goes down, left foot down. We're gonna lean the torso forward. We're gonna bring the palms facing forward and try to push yourself away, coming back to happy baby. Let's bring the right shin above the left one. The same thing, rock forward, left foot down, right foot down. Lean your torso forward, palms forward, and then push yourself away, coming back to happy baby. Let's continue. This is gonna be on our ongoing sequence. Left shin above the right one. Rock forward, find your way to sit it. Right hand goes down to the floor as a leverage. So use pressure of the right hand to lift the hips off the floor. And we don't wanna lift the hips and lean forward. You wanna lift the hips above the right foot. Hover them just two, three inches above and lean your torso forward. Now use the left hand, the left palm, to press yourself away, coming back to happy baby. Let's try the other side, rock forward. Left hand goes down to the floor. Right hand stays in kind of like a protective block. And then from here, lift the left hip off the floor, above hips, above the left foot, lean forward, that the right palm is gonna push it uh, away so you can come back to happy baby. Let's continue, left chin up, rock forward. This time, both hands off the floor. Palms forward, lift your hips. Again, not hovering forward, leaning forward and then push yourself away, happy baby. Other side, right chin forward, lift your hips, lean forward, sink into the right hip, and then slowly shift back to happy baby. Left chin above, let's continue. We're gonna start building up the heat in here. Left foot forward, this time hands down to the floor, left the right leg, circle the right knee all the way back, flex the foot, straighten the leg. From here, you're gonna square the hips, bend your right knee, bring the right knee behind the left one, a little bit of sinking into the hips, keep the hands on the floor, slowly start sliding right foot down to the floor, right shin down, and try to as gracefully as you can, sink your pelvis down. So to avoid plunging on the tush is to lean the torso forward, so keep the weight in the front, until your pelvis is touching the ground, then push yourself away. <laughs> Happy baby. Okay, other side, let's rock forward. Bring your hands forward on the fingertips. Lift the left foot, circle the left knee all the way back. Flex the foot, so this is kind of like a half moon here. Then let's square the hips. Rebend the left knee, hug the left knee behind the right one. And then from here, slowly release the foot down to the floor. Make sure the left foot is not too close to the right ankle. That's gonna be very difficult for you to not plunge on the tush. So the left foot is slightly back. Release the left shin down, lean your torso forward, slow as slow as you can, sink your tush down and then push yourself away, happy baby. Left shin above, rock forward, hands down. Lift the right leg, circle it back. Straighten the leg, flex the foot. This time, release the foot down to the floor. As the back heel goes down, we're gonna bring the right arm forward and we're gonna extend the left arm back. So we're looking into kind of like a twist. From here, we're gonna start circling the arms around. Nice big circle, coming all the way up toward your two. Keep circling those arms around, coming from toward your two. Spinning on the back toes and going to almost like a twist. Actually, not almost, it is a twist. Right hand goes down to the floor. Left hand goes down on the lower back. I like to lift my palm facing up. It's kind of protecting my shoulder, but if you want a more rotation in the shoulder, left palm faces down. From here, I'll lift the right foot, hug the right knee in towards the left one. Keep the right hand stand on the floor in this one, in this variation. Release the foot down, shin down, push yourself away. Happy baby. Other side, all the way up, hands down, lift the left foot, circle the left leg back, straighten the leg, release the foot flat. 
you know where we're going. So left arm forward where I am back. Inhale, circle all the way up to warrior two. Keep circling your arms around, coming into like a twisted crescent. Left hand goes down to the floor, right hand on the lower back. Lift the left leg, lock the knees together, and then slowly raise the left foot down, sink your hips, push yourself away. Happy baby. Let's continue. Left chin above, rock forward, hands down, right leg lifts, circle it all the way back, flex the foot, straighten the leg, release the foot down. Right arm forward, left arm back, inhale, warrior two. From warrior two, let's start shifting the weight into the right hip. Start bending your right knee, straighten your front leg, flex the front foot. Let's sink the hips as low as we can, go into like a nice skandasana. Big inhale here in skandasana, keep the hips low and start bringing the weight into the front foot, rebending the front knee. Right hand goes down to the floor, spin the back foot on the toes, left arm is coming all the low, on the lower back, left right leg, lock the knees. And then a few blocks, start inhale, lifting that hand off the floor, it is on the floor, off the ground. Bring your palms facing forward and then slowly release, right shin down, hips down, push yourself away. Happy baby. Okay, other side, rock forward, hands down, lift the left leg, circle it back, flex the foot, straighten the leg, release the foot down to the floor. Left arm forward, right arm back, inhale. Warrior two. From warrior two, let's look for that skandasana. So straighten your front leg, flex fr front foot, shift away to your left hip. Sing your hips low. If you need to, a little bit of bouncing in here that's gonna get you deeper into the hip. And then from here, let's bend the front knee. Keep the hips low, torso low. Left hand goes down to the floor, spin the back foot on the toes. Right arm circles all the way back. Lift the back foot. Bend your back knee, lock the knees together. Again, lift the hand off the floor and try to lower yourself with control and then push all the way back to happy baby. Whew. Building up some core, building up some heat. Left shin above, inhale all the way up. Hands down to the floor. Lift your right leg, circle it all the way back. Straighten the leg, release the foot down. Right arm forward, left arm back, inhale. Warrior two, all the way to that skandasana. So we're building up upon it. So from here, we bend the knee, right hand down. This time, let's start spinning the feet all the way to the left, going to kind of like support that side plank. If you want, you can lower your bottom hip down. That's gonna give you extra stretch in the glutes. From here, come back all the way forward, lift the right foot off the floor, knees hugging in, lowered, uh, your torso down, lower your hips down, all the way to happy baby. All this side, right chin above the left one, rock forward, hands down, left leg lifts, circle it back, straighten the leg, release it down. Left arm forward, right arm back, inhale, all the way to warrior two. Exhale, skandasana. From skandasana, lean forward, left hand down. All the way around to side plank. Sing the hip if you did so on the other side. Let's come back to the center. We're gonna lift the back leg, lock the knees together, slowly release your shin down, and back to happy baby. Whew. Okay, let's keep going. Left shin forward, left foot forward, hands down to the floor. Left your right leg, circle it all the way back. This time straighten the leg, square the hips, so the right toes are pointing down to the floor. Lock the right knee behind the left one, shift the hips back, lots of weight in your standing heel, lift your hands off the floor and point the palms forward. We're going to push the palms forward at the same time, kicking the back leg back, going to crescent, all the way in here, right arm forward, left arm back, from twisted crescent all the way up to warrior two. From warrior two. Skandasana. From Skandasana, let's shift forward. Right hand down. All the way around. This time, we're going to go to side plank with the front foot. Lift that. Bend the left knee. Open the hip. So the top hip is opening up. And then we're going to reverse, stepping the foot forward. 
Back foot off the floor. Knees are hugging in. Ready, sit down. Push yourself away. Whew, happy baby. All right, start. Right chin above. Rock forward. Hands down. Lift the left foot. Circle it back. Straighten the leg. Square your hips. Left knee hugs behind the right one. Hands off the floor. Step back to crescent. Left arm forward, right arm back. Twisted crescent all the way to warrior two. From warrior two all the way to skandasana. From skandasana all the way forward. Left hand forward. Spin through the side plank. Supported side plank. All the way to the side plank with the right knee pointing up. From here, reverse right foot forward. Lift the back leg, lock the knees together, raise it down, push yourself away. Whew, happy baby. Let's wiggle the toes for a second, shake up the feet. We're gonna have one more sequence to go with to really get that heat going. From here, right foot forward, uh, left foot forward, sorry. See, I'm already warm up. Left, uh, roll forward, hands down to the floor. Lift the right leg, circle it back. Straighten the leg, flex the foot, pointing the toes down. So again, square hips. Right knee locks in behind the left one. Hands of the floor, palms facing forward. Push yourself away. Twisted crescent, all the way up to warrior two. To skandasana. From skandasana, let's lower the torso, lean forward. From here, we're going to just flip the legs around, lift the left leg. Going to dancing dog, releasing the left foot down to the floor. Lift your hips. From there, we're gonna lift the foot up, bring the left hand down to the floor. We're gonna go through plank all the way to pigeon. Release the foot down to the floor, gently release your knee down, come up on the fingertips. Lean your torso forward. Whoa. Release the right foot on your toes. Let's get full breath in. And then open your mouth, exhale. With the inhale, we're gonna shift towards the left hip. We're gonna start lifting the right foot off the floor, spin the right leg all the way forward, and bringing the right ankle locked in outside of the left knee. So we're getting into like a twist. The left arm is wrapping around the right knee, the right hand goes behind. Before we go into full transition, a full uh, variation of the spurs, make sure that the hip uh, the right hip is sinking down to the floor, so there's no left in here. You can use the right hand going to the inside of the right hip crease and just push the hip down. And then from here, just look for length in the torso more than just a twist. Because if you're twisting, if you're rounding, you're actually uh, not doing too much, not giving too much benefits to your, to your body. So it's more about looking for the length. I'm out of breath. After the sequence, nice big inhale, and nice little exhale. From here, we're gonna lower the torso down, keep the knees crossed, and I'm gonna give you options. If you feel like you wanna just relax in here, bringing the hands on top of your knees, do so. If you wanna grab the edges of your feet, try to grab from the outside, lower the bottom leg down to the floor, and try to straighten your top leg, going into like a counter stretch. The knee can be bent, but make sure that you're flexing the foot. Nice big inhale in here. Nice slow exhale. And then slowly, we're gonna come back to outer side. We already have the right shin on top, so that should make it, make it easier to transition. Elbows are in, inhale, rock all the way forward. Hands down to the floor. Lift the left leg, circle the left leg back. Straighten the leg, flex the foot, then square the hips. Left knee goes behind the right knee, hands off the floor. Push yourself into crescent. Find the way to the twisted crescent. Inhale all the way up toward your two. Exhale all the way to that low skandasana. From skandasana, lean forward. Left hand goes down to the floor. Let's spin all the way around, getting into dancing duck. Bring the back foot down to the floor, left your hips. And then slowly from here, find the momentum. Coming back forward, bringing your both hands down to the floor and finding pigeon. Inhale in here, exhale, come up on the fingertips and just lean your torso forward. 
Nice, less restorative breath in here. Inhale and exhale. And then from here, let's start shifting more weight to the right hip. Allowing, uh, allow the left foot to come off the floor and circle all the way forward, bringing the left ankle outside of the right knee. Again, before we get into deeper twist, we wanna make sure that the left sit bone is on the floor. So ground the left hip down and then find extension in the spine. Then look for more twist. Just two breaths in here. And then look forward. From here, we're gonna lower down again into that cow face and choose the variation you did on the other side. Don't try to switch around. If you did on the other side, touch the hands on the, into your knees and stay there. Keep the same variation on this side. Otherwise, grab the edges of your feet if you did the full variation on the previous side. So one, hand go, one leg goes down to the floor, the other you're gonna try to extend from the flexion of the foot. Relax the shoulders down. Nice big inhale. And nice slow exhale. From here, let's come back with both knees to your chest. Let's gently rock from side to side and then slowly start extending soles of your feet up towards the ceiling. The knees can be bent. If you have tight hamstring, keep those knees bent. And then lift the head up. Maybe hands behind the knees, maybe hands down to the floor. It's up to you. We're gonna be lowering the legs down and we're gonna try to lift the torso and try to lower uh, all the way to full forward bend. Just to kind of neutralize everything what's going on, what we've worked on uh, through the sequence. Flex the feet, maybe lengthen your chest forward and just bring your chin forward. Maybe just bounce your torso a little bit more up and down to work on the um, back superficial line. Or maybe just drop the head down. Try avoiding to uh, get a too much rounding in the upper back. Try to actually look for more extension in there. And then from here, let's slowly with control, roll all the way down to well-deserved Shavasana.